welcome back to another video so today's video is a little bit quick because i just basically wanted to share with you exactly how i managed to clean a piece of furniture that my son had drawn on now he had taken a combination of crayons and markers and drew on my furniture and I genuinely thought this piece of furniture was a goner. Like, I didn't think I was going to revive it. In fact, I was getting to the point where I was ready to throw it in the bin. But I managed to revive it and it looks amazing. So I'm going to talk you through the process of how I did that. If you are new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified every time a new video goes live. And whilst you're there, why don't you just give this video a like as well? <laughs> so I'm just gonna talk you through exactly what I did. I am super impressed with this video. So I started by using the pink stuff and some water and a basin, and it was pretty simple. As you can see, my son really went to town with this shoe storage so i went ahead and i took a scourer with some pink stuff and i just went ahead and just scrubbed 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 so you need a little bit of elbow grease in this and you really need to put your you know your might into all of this just to make sure that you scrub it as much as possible and i basically just did the entire thing i started off section by section each area and i just went ahead and just gave it a really really good scrub and as you can see I made sure I used as much as possible I was not stingy with the amount of pink stuff that I put on these shoe cabinets but I just went ahead and put as much as I thought was necessary don't even worry about getting it in the holes either because we will go ahead and clean that up now as you can see we have put the pink paste everywhere and I'm just gonna have a quick cup of tea and then I'm gonna come back and I am going to wipe it off like I said all you need is just a bit of warm water and a cloth and it should just wipe straight off so I started from the top and made my way down but you could just do it whichever way you want <laughs> it's completely up to you so just go ahead and give it a bit of a wipe if you find that there are few stubborn areas just go ahead wash it cloth and start again and this was working absolutely perfect for me and as you can see it has wiped off a lot more than I thought it would and I'm so impressed as you can see there are a couple of stains that were still remaining so for example this pink marker just wouldn't go away but for the rest of it I am so impressed with how well it turned out And then of course don't forget the areas where there are few holes or spaces or gaps just give that a nice clean and you'll see that it will wipe straight off as well I am so excited by how good this looks it looks brand new and even the spots you can't see them and that is it that is all that I had to do to make sure that this piece of furniture was restored and i'm telling you it looks amazing i'm actually shocked by how good it looks i really hope you've enjoyed this video please make sure to hit that like button please make sure to subscribe and also make sure you share because i am pretty certain i am not the only parent who has furniture that has been destroyed by a toddler and Sometimes we just need a little bit of hope to be reminded that it can be restored and it can look beautiful again. So please make sure to share this with anybody that you know who may need this. Um, until the next video, take care and thank you so much for all your support. Bye.